TEENAGE BOY IS ACCUSED OF RAPING TWO YOUNG CHILDREN THAT HE WAS SUPPOSED TO BE BABYSITTING. GOOD AFTERNOON. I'M JIM PAYNE. I'M MARTHA SIGALSKI. THAT VICTIM'S GRANDMOTHER ALLEGEDLY DISCOVERED THE ABUSE. ONE VICTIM SAID IT HAD BEEN HAPPENING FOR THE PAST YEAR. WHERE SHE'S GAIL PASCO BROWN LIVE RIGHT NOW IN ORANGE COUNTY WHERE THE SUSPECT WAS IN COURT THIS AFTERNOON. GAIL. Osceola County Sheriff's deputies tell us that no one knew about the allegations until the six year old became so distraught that she went to her grandmother and told her. Now, the babysitter apparently were babysitting the two girls while their mother worked. As for the suspect's mother, she was quite tearful in court today, but she says her son is innocent. This 15 year old Orlando boy, who we're not identifying, is charged with capital sexual battery involving six and seven year old sisters he babysat in Osceola County. You are here and you have been arrested and charged with 50 counts of capital sexual battery. That is a first degree felony punishable by life. Osceola County Sheriff's deputies arrested him last night after the little girls told their grandmother what allegedly happened. The six year old came forward first, saying he made her perform a sex act and threatened he would hit her hard if she told anyone. Both girls describe other acts the teen allegedly had them do and said they would happen every time he babysat them. The girl's mother told detectives the teen babysat the girls over 50 times. The allegations stem back to June of last year. The teenager denied committing any sexual abuse, but later admitted that while he was having phone sex with his girlfriend, he touched the victim while she was asleep and naked. Today in court, he mouthed to his mother, I love you. The judge ordered him to remain detained. His grandparents and mother were in tears. Is there anything you want to say in defense for your son? She said her son is innocent as she stormed out of the courthouse. Would your grandparents want to say anything at this time about what happened to your grandson? She went into the elevator sobbing. Now, the arrest report also says that the teenager made the six year old smoke something. She didn't know what it was. There was no charge as it relates to that. But we're told by detectives that he was charged with violation of probation involving a possession of cannabis. His next court date is August 6th. The trial is set for August 7th. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, live in Osceola County for West 2 News.